Ice sculptures can make quite an impression at a party or social engagement. Before they melt, their beauty can be seen and admired. Mass production of ice sculptures is now possible with new machines and tools, and the market for ice sculptures is expanding. It's a curtain of ice, and it's in demand for big events. They string beads of ice on plastic-coated aircraft cable. As it melts, it creates a waterfall effect. It's guaranteed to make an impression. But just how did they get this ice to be crystal clear? They start by tucking a plastic liner into a big tank. They pipe filtered water into it. Then a worker places a measuring bar with a dipstick across the tank. The dipstick is set at 10 inches. That's how thick the block of ice needs to be. He clamps electric submersible pumps on each end of the tank and positions them underwater at a 45 degree angle. These pumps are key. They keep the water moving, forcing bubbles and impurities to the top while clear water below freezes. He shuts the lid to allow the water to freeze. 24 hours into it, he'll remove one of the pumps. Three days later, he probes the ice under the watery surface with a pick. It needs to be level, so he checks the entire ice surface with a measuring bar. Next, he siphons off the excess water with a wet vacuum. He'll take off a couple of buckets full. Then he attaches a lifting bar to brackets on each end of the tank and lifts the 300 pound ice block with a chain hoist. Now he peels away the plastic liner and inspects. The ice has to be absolutely perfect. No clouds, cracks or impurities. Because water expands when it freezes, the block is a bit too thick. So they slice off the excess ice with an electric bandsaw, trimming it back to the desired 10 inch mark. The steel blade cuts cleanly and evenly. He slides the extra pieces of ice into a heated pit where they'll melt and be recycled back into the system. Before the ice is carved, they put the design on paper. The artist is sketching a liquor luge two vodka bottles made of ice through which drinks will flow. Now it's time to cut the ice. The block turns on a special lathe. Then they propel an electric router across the spinning block. The sharp edges of the router cut into the ice. A guide wheel above the router follows a plastic outline of a bottle, so it cuts precisely to the design. All this is done in the freezer. The temperature in here is just over 17 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the vodka bottle is starting to take shape. It takes about four minutes for this machine to carve it. This task couldn't be performed as quickly or precisely by hand. After the carving, the worker brushes off the ice shavings. Then it's time for the blowtorch. It melts the frost so the ice looks like glass, through which you can clearly see the label and plastic tubing that have been frozen inside. Now we have the finished vodka luge, which will be used to serve drinks at parties. The barman pours the drinks through a funnel at the top, and the drink chills all the way down to the martini glass. If a fish fountain is more your style, this is how it's done, the old fashioned way. The sculptor armed with a chainsaw shapes the ice following a cardboard template. She smooths the ice with an electrically powered disc grinder, then cuts in detail by using a die grinder with a triangular bit. She dusts off the snow and then polishes the ice with a blast from the blowtorch. Now that's a work of art.